Hello everybody, um, just want to make a follow up uh, video of I just bought my new Intel Skylake 6700K and this extremely expensive Asus V3 Extreme motherboard. It's actually the $500 board. Um, as you can see, uh, today is October 9th, as you can see, and I bought this build. Uh, uh, 7 3, so that's January, February, March, April, May, June, July. Okay, July 3rd of this two, uh, 2016 year. So, this thing's about three months old. Um, what I first noticed, which I didn't, I, I kind of ignored it because I didn't think, I didn't know it was be a major issue, um, is this is MSI Afterburn, as you can see. And for some reason, um, my computer build is, uh, has an H1 under, under eye water cooling block. Uh, it's a push pull config. There's two fans on each side, so it gets pretty good breathing. I got a sensor here. I got a sensor in between the RAM, which RAM has a fan. I have a, sens a sensor below right near the power supply. And I also have a sensor uh, right between the hard drives, which tells you the temperature, which you can see it's fairly uh, cool in the case. Um, my issue for this video is that just simple web browsing spikes up the CPU fan. As you can see, my max. Oops, sorry. All oh, the light's gonna make it hard. But the max temperature is 49 degrees Celsius, and the minimum is 19. And I haven't turned any games. This computer's been on for five minutes because I just changed my thermal paste because I thought maybe it was possibly a thermal paste issue. Which I actually took a picture of it, and it was actually pretty spread on pretty well. Um, this is it's Arctic Silver. Uh, which I have right here and obviously the cleaning stuff and the little brush um, But that's how it looked like and it was totally fine. So it wasn't a th like not there not being spreaded So this is what I do. There's definite methods I make a square and then I put a little little dab with the end just in case if it, it makes bubbles it it was smooth it spread it but um my, In the bios the temperature was fine. It was 23 degrees Celsius I, the computer has been reformatted. It's on a Samsung Evo. Nothing's overclocked. As you see, everything is auto, and I never did any overclocking yet. Uh, so I haven't, like, you know, damaged or anything like that. But um, my concern is, is that the di uh, temperature, like, I'll open up a browser, and you're going to see it just spike to 41 degrees Celsius. Then it drops down. And I just opened simple, you know, Google Browser. Uh, it's been doing that since I had this, but it wasn't as an issue till I noticed now where my CP, my, uh, heat, um, the water block fans start revving right when I click a browser. So bear with me. I'm just going to open the browser while you're near the case and you're going to hear the fan rev. I don't know if the video caught that. But they rev for a second and they drop. I noticed it like when I had my Intel 4770K, when I was playing a game plus watching like Crunchyroll and Netflix, my temperature never wrote like went higher than 43. Like that's at most with the game called Black Desert. Uh, it's a new uh, online MMORPG game. So it has like the newest settings where you can, you know, really use performance at your computer. And I've never once seen it remotely hit 45. Like, that was, like, the max. This thing hits up to there with ease. So, um, I don't know if anyone can figure out the issue for this. Here's the inside of what it looks like. Yes, it's been cleaned out. Yeah, it's not the most best management in the world. Um, but these are big Phoenix fans, which they do good airflow. Um, it's nice and cool outside. It's actually raining, so it's, like, in the 50s to 40 degrees temperatures uh, outside, so it's really cool and airflow comes through. Um, the, again, the airflow is not an issue. That's why I got these uh, case fans. And the water block is a push-pull config. Two fans up there, two fans over there. It, I always air compress it, clean it. It's only a single GPU in there. It's not like a mess of lying, which I do too have two uh, 78, uh, se wow, 780 Ti's, but I'm only using one right now to keep the heat off just to see if it's a heating issue. Um, 
but everything's up to date. This is a Windows 10 64-bit Pro, so it's not like it doesn't have the latest drivers and stuff like that. So I know it's not a driver. It's not a virus issue either because, again, this computer's been recently formatted like three months ago. And it's uh, I got the new, actually, Samsung Evo, not Evo, uh, Pro, which is like the red tag, which is better than the Evo, well, supposedly. Uh, I got that a month ago, so the computer's been wiped out. So there's no viruses or malware or anything like that, which my security program has malware bytes. So that rules out the viruses. I um, think my leaning towards is like either it's a defective CPU or a defective motherboard. It's been doing this since the day I got it. I don't know if the new Intel Skylake uh, has a heat, like a high heat issue. Uh, that could be it. Maybe I'm not because it's a, it is a higher frequency. It's stock 4.0 where the Intel 4770K was 3.5. Um, but I'm hearing from other people that do have the new 6700K. Uh, wow, I can't say it. Uh, doesn't have that fluctuating heat issue and they also they have like a little update of the water block of what I have the the H100 uh, uh, G, uh, GTX which I just have the HDRI and no it's not the water block either because I do have a second computer over there also the H100i too and I took that out and I put it in there and it is definitely not my water cooling block because I just switched it and it's still doing the same issue so um you just I just want to know if the 6700K it does have this type of issue, or I just I'm just unlucky with a defective part. Uh, appreciate your feedback and thank you so much.